Hey guys, what's up? Uh, so it looks like tomorrow might be Maiden Day. Been waiting for some time to Maiden the Disco Dart and the Dart 250G over there. Uh, as you guys know, I was part way through the construction of this last time I posted a video. And it is now, to all intents and purposes, complete and ready for the Maiden. So... What's going on here, just in case you never saw the first video, this is a Parrot Disco transplant of the Chuck Flight controller uh, and the motor into Dart XL. Now, since starting this project, I've identified a couple of potential problems. Um, firstly, you know, the motor on this uh, now is considerably smaller than the original, whilst the mounting pattern and everything is the same, this is a, well, I'm still learning about motors, but um, this is not as tall, so I guess the second part of the number would be lower if I knew what the numbers were. Uh, here is the original Dart XL motor, the sunny sky, and there is the Parrot Disco one, so as you can see, it's the same type of motor, but not quite as tall. Uh, so this Parrot one is going to be a lower KV. I mean, the, the Disco was always built with efficiency in mind. Uh, one of the key reasons that the... Uh, I guess the, the motor is not as big, or the way that this has been designed was so that the motor can plug directly into the chuck air unit. Uh, or flight controller, whatever you want to call it. So, you know, by that regard, it means that the ESC is within this box. Uh, so it's not going to be a massively meaty ESC. The one on the uh, Dart XL originally is a 40 amp. So it's a fairly beefy ESC that was fitted to the Dart XL. Uh, I'd imagine the one in here is probably going to be 20 amps, something like that. Uh, fairly low power, maybe 30. Anyway, so that's fitted in there. Uh, the plan is to run with the Parrot Pack, which you can see is set right in the middle there, essentially. And excuse the slight rat's nest there. These are just uh, spare wires, essentially, that have been pushed back into the rear. The Parrot motor uh, wiring has been extended with the same gauge. So that now reaches the chuck flight controller, because it was much shorter before. Other things that I've had to do of note, I mean, you can see there's a, a little bit of uh, ballast in the back there to get the CG correct. Um, we've had to put this hole in the bottom. Uh, this is for the optical flow sensor and the uh, other thing that's on there. I think it's the barometer or something along those lines that's underneath that needs to be able to bounce signals off the ground and uh, the big notable change is obviously switching from the standard Parrot Disco antenna which are fragile uh, things that would not be easy to put on this device on this plane uh, and replacing that with the True RC Singularity RHCP 2.4 GHz antennas which I've mounted kind of to the side and the bottom of this. Uh, God knows how that's going to work. I mean, that location was decided partially by the length of the cables, so uh, not ideal. In the Parrot Disco, the antennas are located underneath each wing. Well, they're actually under the main fuselage, but it is more of a, a flying wing design, the Disco, so... You know, the aerodynamics of this dart is going to be a concern. The all-up weight is similar to my Disco with the big battery in it. I had the uh, big 5.2 in there, LiPo. And, you know, I've got various plans for this. At the moment, it's on the standard Parrot Pack. I know I get good flight times out of that, but I'm also thinking one, two, maybe even three of these would be possible in here. Certainly three would physically fit uh, of the three S lithium ion packs that I've got for the, the 250G mainly. 
So I'm definitely going to try two lithium ion packs. They're based on LG MG1. Uh, I think they're 2500 milliamp hour or 3500 milliamp hour possibly. Claimed rating. Um, so that could be interesting. Certainly, you know, Parrot Disco owners have had some success with lithium ions in long flight times. Personally, I don't need any more than this offers. But uh, maybe, you know, 3S2P uh, lithium ion or even 3S3P lithium ion would be a, an option here. So, as I say, tomorrow is hopefully maiden day. Uh, it's going to be a fairly perplexing time. Certainly, as I've you know, never flown the 250G yet either. And the, the plan is to hopefully maiden both at the same time. Uh... It would be my first time using real FPV goggles. Uh, if I do use them with the 250, although it would probably be best to just do line of sight flight first of all. Especially as I got used to using the controller, which I've never used before. Uh, so lots of learning here, lots of new experiences, and lots of panic, potentially, and crashes. Very likely, uh, knowing my record with the Parrot Disco, which was to uh, crash that probably one out of three flights. I uh, really don't want to crash this shiny new plane, or indeed the little Dart 250G, which, you know, while we're talking about planes, I'm fairly concerned about the way that I've built this. Uh, now having a lot more YouTube experience, I probably wouldn't have mounted the VTX right at the front with a massive heatsink on it. And I probably wouldn't have mounted this stack here either. Uh, and that is the SD card cable extension. The CG is all good on this, but really I should have stuffed more of this up the back and moved the pack forward. Um, I was just concerned about the VTX being near the ESC initially, which was what made me go down this kind of route. Uh, plus the short run cam cable doesn't help and that's at the bottom of the stack but anyway we're gonna fly soon are we? Hmm? we're gonna fly soon? this plane now? well not now but soon maybe who are you talking to? my viewers on YouTube <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? do I not have any viewers? <laughs> I was just making a video about the planes. Oh, okay. Okay, say bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>